dies, he's swimming away. Don't even, get me wrong, it's not going to heat up a big tent or anything like that, but it's very easy to carry in and take out. I leave in the car because of the size of it, yeah, it's not that big and you just pick it out by the handles. I don't even have a bag for it because I don't think it needs one. Um, they're just a good stove. The airflow is brilliant on it. Um, and for things like this, it's very efficient in cooking. And you can get half decent sized bits of wood in it. I I'll get that in there. There we go, look. I've just stacked it out and. Uh, And when you shut the door, it comes into life. I've got the water tank on the back, which I'm going to put on the front here. So that's you put the you put the water tank you put the water tank on the back for when it's boiled. You want to get it going. Check it on the front there. That's stainless steel. Um, and it's a really efficient and good way of uh, new little uh, pocket wallet I'm making. Been using it for a few months now and it's just really useful. I'm giving away so many because I make myself one. People see it and say, oh, I want one of them and I end up giving it to them. Um, but yeah pocket wallet I'll have them on the shop soon. I picked up this box off a mate of mine Alan and uh, we done a deal at the gathering for it. And um, I think I got quite a good deal because at the time he had had a few drinks. <laughs> but I've used this as a, not as much, as, if I didn't want to bring all this, this has all got my cook kit inside it. And uh, it works really well. Really nice, solid military box. Can't remember what it is. I might have to give it a lick of uh, some uh, oil on it or something, but it's tough because you can just pick it up and screw the kit in it and tuck it down. It'd be good for canoeing, actually. Um, what I've done, just got a tent peg. There's a little slot there, and all I do is just put this in there, and then that turns into a table. And it's quite nice because it's got these thick leather hinges on that side. So what we've got in here: chopping board, near chopping board, so that can go there, and a bit more. Obviously a tea towel. Stove. So I'm using the, uh, this is the, um, the Coleman 400 model, or peak one, or those various different models of it, but it's the same. It's the smaller one, so it fits in there quite nicely. With that, I've got this lovely um, US military um, cup and bowl dated 1952 and they're 70 years old and work perfect. Go down a bit more. Um, what else? My, these are the pouches. Um, I'm, so I'm going to make the products in this canvas as well as the nylon. But there's a brew kit. And I'm going to I must be make this designer pouch because it's quite nice and it stands up like that. Self-locking. So they fit on there. Um, so that's my brew kit. I have a kettle which I've got here. And um, 1200 to 1500 mil bowl or pot, a lid, and frying pan if I need it, all in one. Um, and that fits in there perfect. You've seen that set before. In here, I've got my knife, forks, spoons, um, bits like that, lighter. In here, I've got a, my oils, salt, pepper, spices. Oh, at the bottom, got the frying pan I'm using. 
which is this iron one. I can't remember the model of it. They're quite hard to get hold of, but it's because the handle comes off, it's quite nice. We can chuck that straight on top of there. And right at the bottom, to go with the plate, uh, the cup and the bowl, I've got a plate, and it's like a polka plate. It fits nicely at the bottom, and that all fits in there. And the only other thing I've got is the uh, rough timber. Um, this is the 16 centimetre, 16 centimetre um, billy can uh, tray, but I use it as a diffuser on this one. So it's just sometimes when you're trying to cook something a bit slower, it works as a diffuser, not just on there and lots of other things as well. And that's all what I've got in there, um, and that's what covers all needs really. And obviously, I wouldn't keep the extra fuel in there, I'll keep that elsewhere. Um, but yeah, that that can do everything I need. And it works really well with like, the table and with the box as well. about this handle that even though that's boiling I can take that off there you see it down the back there move this up to the heat been carving for the last hour or so 
and uh, I'll stop. Have a bit of cake. What we got here is banana loaf. Yeah, it is with all with butter, but we'll have, we'll have a go of it. And a coffee. It's really nice. So to be honest, I've been sitting over here because it's cooler in the shade. But I've just been mucking around carving. A bit of an unusual bit decorative um, teaspoon basically, that's what I was making a teaspoon. Not finished yet. To be honest, I ain't got me spoon knife just carve that out um, but I keep fiddling around with it just saying a bit different just to be honest because I'm using this new knife that I got from Bob Evans so when I get a new knife I like to carve a spoon you know get the feel of it do the angles yeah um, that's the way you get to know a knife and how well it is uh, I've done a bit of battening with it a bit of feather sticks but the carving's always good and this is a sheath that I made for it. Uh, it did come with a Kydex sheath, but I didn't want a Kydex sheath. I want to try and keep it all sort of old school looking. But fits in there and I have a little clip that goes on the belt. So it's not a big knife. I don't, you know, I've got bigger knives. But this is uh, like 3.2 mil thick, 01. And uh, which of course it's the FTP knife but yeah so far so good and uh, just keep mucking around with that hopefully uh, I should get it finished sort out that bit but let's have a, have a bit of banana cake So yeah, I was doing a bit of carving today. Um, I didn't film the carving bit. A bit tedious really. But I've just made a little teaspoon. Come out quite nice. It is a crappy bit of wood I had. And um, but this has come out as a nice decorative uh, spoon, so I will mostly give this to my mother-in-law. She, I think she appreciate that. And uh, there was no plan. I just went with whatever the way the wood went and what could come into the brain. And uh, but yeah, that's a nice little one to do. And I used that using the Web Evans knife because I wanted to test that knife. Uh, good carving is uh, carving is a good way of doing that because you can get all the different angles, the different hand grips, and just you know you're using it for a long time. So is any points of where it might you know have sore points but no not at all work perfectly I knew it would but you know it's always good to test these things so yeah that's that I've got the steak going that's just turned up behind me well it turned up about an hour ago he's just getting his food on the go and we're just sitting around having a chat to be honest nothing, nothing.
morning everyone. Excuse me, just cleaning my teeth. <laughs> uh, it's about half seven in the morning and um, the sun's out. But it was, a, I think that was the first uh, chilly night that we've had. Amazingly, completely different from the night before. Where the uh, the sun was, it was warm. Yeah, the night before, I literally went to bed like I laid on top of the bed. Last night, when I went to bed, it was I had to get in the sleeping bag and properly wrap up. And uh, so it must have dropped down the temperature. Just looking at the moment, which is not too bad under there, is about ten Celsius. Coleman's burners playing up. Got to break it down and, and uh, give it a service. It's all sorted up most probably. It's been broken. But yeah, the sun. Nice in the morning, warms the whole place up.
definitely one to remember. So quick and easy as well. Basically like egg on toast. So that's it, really all packed up. Um, I'm left the awning out. I'd like to have a cup of tea before I go. I ain't got a long journey back. Um, but the time is half 11. Literally it took like 20 minutes to pack up. Quite a quick and simple setup. And uh, Matt's tidying up now. So what I've done is just like, got me old brewery here, sitting here. Have a biscuit, I suppose. And that's it. It's been a nice bit of time to myself, um, just to chill out and uh, spend a couple of days on my own. Matt turned up to about half four yesterday, and uh, had, a, had a good sleep as well, which is nice. Um, two good night's sleeps. <laughs> but that's it, really. Um, I'll see you soon on another video, I suspect. Um, not sure what. I'm going to try and get out to the Fryers Woods next week, so maybe I'll do something down there which would be good. So, uh, to the next one. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Where's them biscuits to dunk? Dunk and biscuits.